Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again, looking at... Ooh, ooh this is where I get mug. Good. Uh, nothing else really too interesting. Those last few jolly merchant bastards must be camped out somewhere in western Linoshka. Now, if I was a black blooded grill gill grub and slaver where would i be hiding there's not to the west but sahagan pools and even those bullocks for brain pirates no better than to trespass on fishback territory and they won't want to chase they, they won't want to chance running into patrols near ale ports so that just leaves us east the flock aye they'll likely be nestled down in the ruins out there among the, the dodos that's where we'll try to pick up their trail you head on over and snilch the place while i send word to the sisters in the maelstrom Okay. Uh, trade out these. I have the level 20 stuff. I don't know if I want to put all of it on, because I really like this chess piece. Actually, no, I think I have... 3-3. Three, three. This is actually better for damage purposes. I don't believe any of these... Yeah. Cap. Whereas this has all of those. Uh, one crit rate. I got that. Got that. Uh, I'll use this because accuracy has been a bit of a problem. I suppose you guys probably don't really give it flying bananas about what I'm doing right now. Oh, these? Oh, they are sold out. Anywho, I guess I can run and make sure things are equipped. Uh, that's the best I'm going to be able to do. Screw that. What? Okay. Anyhow. Uh, over there. So getting mugs going to be fun. What was the uh, potency on mug? 140 versus 150. Eh. Nothing else here is really all that spectacular. Including the bronze pieces. It was a level 20 quest, and it can't even give me a level 20... Oh, no. Oh, sorry. This is apparently a second level 15 quest. Meh. Wait, so I get two level 15 skills? Okay, well, fine. Whatever. If your level is above 19, it will be synced. So I'm assuming they gave me the throwing dagger ability, because I'm probably going to need it. Well, maybe not need need, but it'll help greatly here. Thank you for freeing us. We've been tied up here since this awful pirate snatched us from our beds. There are some interesting looking dodos you've got there, Katarina. No sign of the merchants, though, eh? Their leader mentioned heading over to Aleport. He said something about there being no signal, and that was a signal that something was wrong. They left us just hobbled here like lambs for the market. One of them yaped about keeping the meat unsullied in case there was trouble. Pray let us flee this place before they return. And who are you just sidle and set loose our R1 prizes, hmm? Was the damnedest thing we'd half a crew lodged in an airport and not one of them survived the night, done in by a couple of sneaky curs that favored the short blades. They say, "I'm supposing that was you too." Seems you've a bone to pick with our choice of trade. I can't say I've 
much use for slavers except as a place to bury me knives. Oh, and I wouldn't bother yourself waiting on your ship to come back, neither. The jolly merchants are done for. Hee hee hee, you ye might have the right of it, lad. But then ye wouldn't know the kind of coin three healthy slaves like them ones will bring us. I'll have a new ship and a new crew before a single moon has passed. You hear that chattel? You're each worth a shining bloody fortune. And ye've me to thank for helping ye learn your true worth. Ignore this bleating sod. In fact, why don't ye step back a ways? These coves are about to learn the consequence of breaking the code, and the discussion is like to get messy. Did ye not think we'd come for ye? Ye can try to stifle your victim screams in the dark bands, but the shadows are always listening. Bum ba dum bum bum. I like me slaves with a bit of fight. You fetch a grand price on the block. Always more. Oh god. Okay, yeah, basically right here it's telling me that in order to deal with the dodos, I should do it with using my throwing dagger. My only concern right now is running out of TP, but... Oh god. Oh! Here comes the others! You coves took your sweet time, let's mop this up already. Seems to have dealt with the bird. Duty complete. Hmm. This is technically a continuation of the other one, and it's short, but I think the way I'm going to be uploading all these, it won't really matter. Yep, that's my response. Thank you. I shudder to think what horrid fate awaited us had you not helped us escape. I knew someone would come. You're just like the heroes in the stories. that have always arrived at the perfect time and triumph over the villains. Do you think I could be a hero like you? I know I could be brave and strong, too. I just know it. I... you don't want to be like me, lad. Listen now, me and those coves there were the ones what the scary folk are afraid of, and that's because we keep the rules for the world they live in. We don't much care if you shirk your chores or get into fights, but if you ever break the code and betray your mates, then that's what we'll come after you, no matter how far you run or how well you hide. Live you, your life like the hero you want to be, though, ain't you'll, uh, and you'll never need to worry about that. Hey, 
You too can stubble it all and all. I assume you are the citizens who were abducted by the Jolly Merchants? I am Captain Milella of the Yellow Jackets. Maelstrom Command has entrusted me with conducting you to safety. It's alright, lad. These folk take these folk will take care of ye. Go on, you'd best not get left behind. And that was the person one of the other cutscenes that was kind of being unhappy about the uh, the rogues guild. Was there aught else, Captain? Word on a new job? A job from me for you? How patently absurd! Why, I'd rather hire a sewer rat to mind my larder. Was it during one of your jobs that you turned Aleport into a slaughterhouse? What dark age is that? Dark Age is this that we must employ assassins to enforce the law. It is this continued deliance with the underworld miscreants such as you that prevents Limps Lamenta from ever fully expunging the stain of piratical but Yeah, no. Piratical, yeah, infection. Look at these weapons you bear. A civilized person uses such implements to carve meat or peel fruit and leaves them at the table where they belong. Do you perhaps clench them twixt your teeth as you swing over rails like the pirates you hunt? Our fair city has no place for those who refuse to abandon the brutish ways of the past. The only champions of justice this nation requires are the valiant and forthright soldiers of the Yellow Jackets. Jack, what the bloody hell is this call one with us? I've not the foggiest idea, love. Just smile and nod. I've not come here to be patronized. I've come to put a decisive end to piracy in all its forms. Consider this visit a gauntlet thrown at the collective feet of the Rogues Guild. Heed my words. Just before dawn this very morn, a Maelstrom vessel stocked with provisions was boarded and looted by pirates. Much of the cargo was stolen, and that is vexing indeed, but it is the theft of three items in particular, three unique treasures of nigh incalculable worth, that most distresses my martial colleagues. As for the brigands, they made well their escape, disappearing into the dawn's mist along with their precious plunder. A rum tale. What's it to do with us? I challenge you, a contest to reclaim these stolen treasures. Should my Yellow Jackets and I succeed in retrieving the greater share, I shall formally propose the abolition of the Rogues Guild. Upon review of our achievements, the Admiral will surely concede that your unscrupulous institution has outlived its usefulness. Ah, uh, blow it out, your waddle. I've better ways to spend me time. Oh, do you now? This incident constitutes a theft against the nation of Limsa Does that not violate your beloved code? If I'm not mistaken, you've no choice but to rise to the occasion. Unless, of course, you mean to slink back into your hole and abandon the fundamental precepts of your duty. All right, all right, you screeching shrew. You've made your bloody point, and you'll be sorry that you did. I promise you that. Your poultry promises amount to not in the face of my conviction. I shall not rest until Limsa Lamensa is free of every last buccaneer, scoundrel, and shadow-dwelling near do well. It's going to be really funny when that smug look gets knocked off her face. What now, Jack? For right now, we head back to the sisters. And... To the Rogues Guild. Oh, yes. Guild. Oh, 
Right. Can't just run through the door. That would be too simple. Everything's always got to be talking to some NPC or something to get through a door. For a wee last, that Milala's got some bollocks, and it seems she's done well with up what whiffs of pirate stock. Hmm, I don't take kindly to Cole's pulling me strings, but the shrew is right. The code's been broken, and we've a job to do. From the sounds of it, though, them coves knew what they were about when they cloyed them treasures. I'll need ye at your best. It's time you learned the art of mugging. Rough up a cull in just the right way, and they'll give up more than what you'd get if you just plain knocked him on his arse. Me and the lads will be busy whittling the story on them bitten baubles, so you're free to head out and sharpen your skill. Might even be as you'll puck get some extra blunt while you're at it, eh? And we'll take the gold cases because scrut. Mug. Oh baby. Uh it's not likely to be a standard combat ability, so go there. Oh that said, well this is available to me. Go away. They're unnecessary in that location. And next time we'll be picking up doing his quest. For now I'm gonna call this good. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.